Pani uh, Transport MEC Mabongo Lerole. Uh, Ramakanya is at Boham to check if the centre is complying with the regulations. Uh, our colleague Mike Marenga is there. Let's cross live to him. Mike, a very good morning to you. What's the latest from your side? Good morning to you and good morning to our viewers. You are indeed correct. Coming to us live from Bochum, you have rightly put it that I am with the MEC for Transport and Community Safety, Mawungulu uh, Ramakanya. Basically what they are doing is to check compliance here at the licensing and testing station. This is one of the rural testing stations. Remember in the talking to the mayor of Bulukwani um, Tembinka Dimeng indicating that Enatis was not up and running at the time. That's why the queue was so long. I must indicate that one other aspect that we were um, checking on our way here is the issue of schooling around this area. I can confirm that schools are still closed. Limpopo province issued a statement yesterday to say that their schools are not ready. They won't be sending learners back to schools, but they were expecting teachers to be at school this morning. So it's an eventful day, but for now, let's quickly talk about what's happening here at the licensing station. Let me bring in the MEC, Mawungulu uh, Ramakan. MEC, good morning and welcome to SABC. Let's uh, quickly talk about compliance in all your stations in the province. About this one particularly. Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, we are happy and we are ready. Our uh, team for making sure that they take, take the body temperature, they are ready. The sanitization is ready. And I'm happy because here at Bochum, our energy system is working. But we want to say to the people around here, you can see the queue is starting to build up. But we also want to say to our people in Limbopo, the post office have also opened. So for those that want to renew the license disc for the cars, they can also go to the post office. And even here, the post office that is ready to also take in the people. And I'm happy here at Bochum, they have got uh, learners uh, that were here for testing. They have got their own queue. These are the people that got uh, dates before the lockdown. So they are going to try and assist. But holistically around the province, like you indicated, beside, like I indicated even this morning on media, that uh, beside the inert is uh, uh, not moving faster than what we want, but all system go, we are ready. Let's talk about compliance, the issue of um, complying stations in and around the province, and also uh, remembering that we are still on lockdown level three. In terms of compliance, are all the testing and licensing stations uh, compliant with the regulation? Uh, the ones that they've opened, they are compliant. If you go on our website without going into the long list, we still have plus or minus 30 to 40 stations that did not comply. And in that regard, they are not opened. Hence, we said to the people, let them go on our website and check those that are opened so that then they do not have to walk distances. But this morning as a department, we came to one that you'll call rural because this is where you'll expect that they have got problems but we want to say thank you to the local municipality for the joint effort to make sure that we are running and lastly let me see uh, I, because i need to talk to the people on the queue uh, there are people who are still at home who want to rush into the licensing station does it worth it coming now or can they wait is there an extended period that you have given them remember uh, we have asked people to wait because all those that uh, their disc have uh, actually expired during the lockdown, they have been given a window period. So we are asking for people to relax and take their time because we are still on lockdown. But uh, as they know the week progresses, then we'll start to, to pro process more people and then we can then still come back to you through the media and say now we are able to process people quicker. Those that need to be attended to should come out. But there's still a window period for those that their licenses have expired since March that have been given. So there's no need to panic. That was the MEC for um, Transport and Community Safety in the province, Mawungulu Rule Ramakanya, indicating that uh, it's all system go for the people of the province. Let me quickly uh, uh, bring in some of the people who have been queuing here for, for a long time. Sisi, uh, what time did you come here? What are you coming to do? Do you think you'll get assistance? I came here around 7 in the morning. Uh, I'm here for booking of Lena's license. Uh, I do believe that uh, I will get help. And looking at, looking at the queue here and the arrangement here, are you happy with um, the social distancing that people are always talking about? 
Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Thanks. Let me uh, talk to the last one now. I see there's a brother uh, sending. Uh, Buti, how long have you been here? What are you coming here to do? I came here, I came here since quarter past eight. And I came here to, to pay my license disc. Looking at the situation now, are you happy? Do you think you'll get assistance? Yes, I'm quite happy because, look, we must manage the situation. It's the lockdown, so we must give people a chance because this is the first day. So we're looking forward to get help. Those are some of the people who are queuing here, hoping to get in and get assistance. As, as, as you have heard, they are saying that they are hopeful because the queue is moving um, as much as it is long, but uh, there is compliance. They are happy that by the end of business, they will get whatever they are coming for. And also the MEC has indicated that the system is now up and running. Those who are on the queues can wait. They will uh, be assisted before the end of business today. And it's back to you in the studio. Mike Maringa, there for you. You're watching the agenda. Let's take a break.